it's two things. Uh, one of them is the book called Good to Great. And have you have you read that? I haven't, no. Oh, I highly recommend it. Yeah, and you check will, it out. You will especially uh, like it. And so basically the, the concept is this. Um, it's uh, Jim Collins wrote this book and he took, um, I forget the number, I think uh, 25 companies, 25 companies that are high growth. And, but these are not companies that people know about. And we're talking about stock market, you know, uh, public. Right. So yeah. uh, nobody knows, nobody knows. These are public companies, extremely successful. And as yet, they are not on anybody's radar screen. And mm. then he created what he calls uh, comparison companies. And these are companies that are in these same exact same industries that everybody knows about. Uh, but their growth rate is nowhere near. Right. So, Interesting. So you've got these high growth companies <laughs> and the comparison companies. Yeah. And then he studied. And then from that, he drew conclusions on what makes a good company. Interesting. A comparison company, a great company. Yeah. So and one of them was, of course, everything comes down to leadership, but also culture and a few other things that I'm yeah. not going to get into. But uh, the, the part about the leadership. So he said that the comparison companies were the CEOs. When the company did really well, he would be on TV, radio, talking about everything and, yeah. and then taking credit. Uh, when things went bad, bad <laughs> spokespeople were <laughs> get, the, get the lawyers to deal with it or something. Yeah. CEO would always be behind the scenes when things went great. But he was always yeah. in the forefront when things happened. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good, that's that's a good lesson. I, I like that. I remember the, you Very know, good. your conversation. <laughs> the, 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 the other one is, is, a, is I think, is a nice ending, which ties to what your father's uh, example was for you. And that is from the movie, A Beautiful Mind. I'm sure you've seen the movie. I ha it was a very long time ago, so I probably don't remember what you're about to say, so but yes. <laughs> if you remember, right at the very end, he's accepting the Nobel Prize. He gives a speech, and his wife is sitting in the audience, of course, and he <laughs> says, all my life, I look for solutions. And I looked at the numbers. So I look for solutions in numbers. Solutions to everything, solutions to life. It says what I realized years later that the only solution that I needed was sitting right next to me. And it looks oh, like amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so, it's, it's it's easy it's easy to forget how emotional you know creatures, what emotional creatures we are, you know, ultimately are. Right. So, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Really interesting. So, 